On February 26, 2020, the first confirmed case of COVID-19 was reported in Sao Paulo, Brazil. It was also the first confirmed case in Latin America. The COVID-19 pandemic has undergone many twists and turns over the past year, including the constant mutations of the virus. As one of the hardest hit regions by the pandemic, Latin America's coronavirus death toll had exceeded 1 million by July 2021. Bruno Benson is an intensivist at the Clinical Hospital of the University of Sao Paulo in Brazil. On the last day of 2020, he described the year as follows. One of the things that happened in 2020 was that we lost part of the control that we had over our daily lives, over our lives, especially those who are professional health, who have to dedicate a lot of work in the daily life. acho que o mundo vai ficar melhor em 2021. É, acredito que sim, né? Porque a gente tem a perspectiva aí da, da chegada das vacinas e com isso a gente deve ter um, um novo normal um pouco mais plausível para todos no, no dia a dia. Né? Então acredito que sim. A few months later, Bruno Benson's New Year's wish of getting life back on track is finally being realized in the small town of Serena in Sao Paulo State. In May 2021. A Xinhua correspondent visits Serena, a quiet and peaceful town. A mass immunization campaign with the Chinese-made vaccine called Project S has made this Brazilian town a role model for fighting COVID-19. No mês de março, nós sofremos muito, como todo o Brasil, com muita contaminação, subindo o índice a cada dia. Nosso sistema de saúde também cheio, pessoal todo todo sufocado, os profissionais de saúde aqui. E o sistema de saúde também entrando em colapso. Brazil's National Health Regulatory Agency unanimously approved the emergency use of CoronaVac vaccine from the Chinese laboratory Sinovac against COVID-19. The country administrated its first shot on the same day. In order to study the impact of mass vaccination against COVID-19, the Buntata Institute in Sao Paulo cooperated with Serena to fully vaccinate eligible adults the mass vaccination proceeded between February 7th and April 11th. According to local media, Serena, with more than 45,000 residents, has seen more than 27,000 people, or 60% of the population, inoculated with CoronaVac, excluding children and pregnant women. CoronaVac, que foi a vacina aplicada no município de Serrana, é muito importante frisar, não teve problema algum no município. Tudo correu na mais perfeita ordem, foi muito importante. E nós estamos com bastante fé e acreditamos muito sim na vacina. Eu adorei, sim, gostei. Todo mundo que tomou a vacina, eu acho que não arrependeu. Quem não tomou é que não teve responsabilidade com a própria saúde, nem com o próprio amigo que está do lado, né? Ah, eu acho que é uma grande proteção para a cidade nossa, né? On May 31st, 2021, at a press conference held by the government of the state of Sao Paulo at the Batantan Institute, local authorities announced the result of the mass vaccination with CoronaVac vaccine in Serena. The results show that deaths from COVID-19 were reduced by 95%, hospitalizations by 86%, and cases with symptoms by 80%.
Serena's stories was mirrored in other countries. The purchase of the vaccine against COVID-19 and the promotion of mass vaccination have been a top priority of the moment for developing countries in Latin America and the Caribbean. A variety of Chinese vaccines, such as Coronavac, Sinopharm, and CanSino, have been approved for emergency use in Brazil, Chile, Mexico, Argentina, and Peru, among other countries. Chartered flights loaded with vaccines from different Chinese pharmaceutical companies have frequently landed in Latin American airports, carrying the hope of containing the pandemic. 二十五日晚，阿根廷派往中国北京的包机顺利抵达布宜诺斯艾利斯埃塞斯国际机场，运回了首批中国医药集团有限公司研发的新冠疫苗。After flying halfway around the globe in an over 20-hour journey, the plane arrived on a day that coincided with China's Latin Festival. To express its gratitude to the Chinese people, the Argentine government made a very special design on the plane's fuselage. "Happy New Year of the Orcs" can be seen in both Chinese and Spanish characters. On February 21st, the country's Ministry of Health officially authorized the emergency use of Sinopharm vaccine and decided to include the Sinopharm vaccines into the national inoculation plan against the COVID-19. On March 4th, Argentina launched the vaccination of Sinopharm vaccine nationwide. Giving priority to the health workers, teachers, military personnel, and the elderly. Estamos en este lugar vacunando al personal de las fuerzas armadas, el personal de las fuerzas armadas que ha estado desde el primer día de la pandemia afectados a tareas específicas de asistencia a la comunidad y de otro tipo de tareas. On April 13th. Argentine Health Minister Carlo Vesalti highlighted the safety and efficacy of China's Sinopharm vaccine, saying that the vaccine will play a key role in helping Argentina control the pandemic. Aplicando Argentina, que tiene dos millones de dosis que se han distribuido y se han aplicado, es la vacuna de Sinopharm que tiene una eficacia que es similar a la vacuna de AstraZeneca y a muchas otras vacunas que no tienen ninguna objeción, que es casi 80% y eso es muy bueno. Out of trust in Chinese vaccines, some countries gave priority to the elderly while launching the first batch of vaccination of Chinese vaccines. 当地时间二十二日，墨西哥启动首批中国科兴新冠疫苗接种。在我所处的墨西哥州艾卡特佩克市，不少当地六十岁以上的老年人一早便来到这儿排队等待接种科兴疫苗。在我身旁的这位七十四岁的卡门女士，成为墨西哥政府新冠疫苗接种计划下的首名科兴疫苗接种者，刚刚完成了新冠疫苗的接种。让我们来听听她是怎么说的。On February 10th, the Mexican government authorized the emergency use of two vaccines developed by China. These biologics can be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for a long time, which has brought good news to people in remote areas of Mexico. They are not well equipped for refrigeration. In the southern Mexican state of Tabasco, there is a small Mayan city called Nacajuca, famous for the original Mayan music and crafts. Since last year, the pandemic has claimed many lives there. My my family, pues, se levantaron cuatro familias, y tanto como mis amigos y mis cuates conocidos, que son los que que son los señores que me enseñaron a a tocar el tambor, ya todos se levantaron todo eso. Y igual también el que me enseñó a soplar la flauta también se adelantó. Era mi cuñado Enrique, era flautero. 
82-year-old Crescencio and his 73-year-old cousin, Francisco, have a small folk band. They used to make money from teaching musical instruments and organizing performances. Since the outbreak of the pandemic, not only has their income plummeted, but illness and death have haunted them. In mid-March, residents of the city eventually got the news that they will be vaccinated with a coronavirus vaccine from China. Within a month, the two brothers and most residents were vaccinated with the Chinese vaccines, and the cheerful Maya music sounded again over this millennium town after more than a year. Le cayó bien las vacunas que le dieron, ya se siente más, mucho más mejor, llega a su terreno, a ver su milpa. Anda activo, pues. Pues le diría yo a China que muchísimas gracias por ese gran favor que le hizo toda la, todo, en todo el país, en todo el país que, se, que haya pues, cedido, que se dio, que le decidió este, regalarle esa medicina para todo alrededor del mundo. Y estamos agradecidos. ¿no? United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres said that vaccine equity is the greatest immediate moral test of our times. On March 1st, in an exclusive interview with Xinhua, Bolivia's Deputy Minister of Foreign Trade and Integration Benjamin Blanco said that the virus does not respect borders and it is of no use for a country to be able to be vaccinated if the rest of the world is not immunized. se ha vuelto un verdadero reto poder tener acceso a las vacunas. Eh, la mayor parte de las vacunas han sido acaparadas por 15 países desarrollados que han comprado por adelantado, han pagado por adelantado para poder tener las vacunas. Blanco said that Bolivia agrees with China the vaccines should be global public goods. Efectivamente, es un, nosotros como Bolivia eh, hemos también lo hemos manifestado en foros internacionales. El derecho a la salud, el derecho a los medicamentos, el derecho a las vacunas son derechos humanos esenciales. Entonces, en este momento, la única solución estructural para la pandemia es la vacunación. Por tanto, las vacunas deberían ser un producto que sea accesible por todos los países, por todas las personas, sin importar el grado de desarrollo que tengan, y deberían ser un producto de acceso público. En Bolivia se va a vacunar de manera gratuita a todos los bolivianos que así deseen hacerlo, que deseen vacunarse. China is the first country that has pledged to make vaccines against COVID-19 a global public good and has been doing its best to fulfill this promise. In addition to supplying vaccines to many developing countries, including Latin American countries, it also supports domestic vaccine enterprises to transfer technology and carry out cooperative production. On January 7th, Brazilian Health Minister Eduardo Pazulo announced that Brazil had signed an agreement with the Buntata Institute of Sao Paulo to purchase 100 million doses of coronavac COVID-19 vaccines developed by Chinese company Sinovac. This result significa that the vaccine developed by the Instituto Butantan has elevado grau de eficiency and efficacy para proteger as vi a vida dos brasileiros contra a Covid-19. Butantan Institute, a vaccine research center in Brazil, 
has also worked with China's Sinovac Biotech to develop vaccines against COVID-19. In the process of vaccine research, researchers from other countries can observe the whole process through a sharing platform and report the result of each stage to the public and the international community in a timely manner. O Brasil é, tem já desenvolvido de longa data parcerias com o governo é, chinês, com, com a China, para o desenvolvimento de tecnologias de interesse para a saúde. É, a, então, essa, essa cooperação não começou agora, é, é, especificamente com relação à Covid, a gente vê a, assim, a potência dessa dessa cooperação com o Brasil, em particular com o Estado de São Paulo, com o Instituto Butantan. O Brasil vai ser, em função dessa parceria com a China, vai ser um dos países produtores, um dos poucos países no mundo a produzir a vacina, em função da cooperação com a China. O nosso trabalho de cooperação é o de de o de o de o de 最早批准克尔莱夫在巴西进入紧急使用，所以就是说研究合作研究促进了共同生产，共同生产又极大的促进了疫苗的使用，所以这个呢是我们在巴西和我们的合作伙伴在两国政府的支持下形成的一个互
para tener un plan de vacunación coherente, consistente, con la logística, con el recurso humano, con la cadena de frío. Que es a través de la cooperación, no de la competencia, que podríamos superar como una comunidad de destino compartido las amenazas existenciales a las que nos enfrentamos. As more and more Latin American people have been vaccinated with Chinese vaccines, the reliability and effectiveness of Chinese vaccines have been verified. Van a poder ver que eh, los resultados se mantienen eh, dentro de los rangos de eh, incertidumbre que habíamos comentado la vez pasada, es decir, eh, nuestras estimaciones eh, fueron bastante precisas y ustedes pueden ver que eh, con respecto a la prevención de COVID sintomático, la efectividad se mantiene cerca de un 65,3%, con respecto a hospitalización, un 87%, con respecto al ingreso a UCI es un 90,3% y con respecto a fallecimientos la efectividad de la vacuna es un 86%. From the Mexican Valley to the Bolivia Plateau, from the residents of Eastern Island in Chile to 80-year-old Brazilian football legend Pele, Chinese vaccines have traversed the mountains and seas and rushed to many Latin American countries on the other side of the world, providing great assistance to these countries in tackling the pandemic as soon as possible which fully reflects the deep friendship, solidarity and mutual support between China and Latin American countries. Para, para nosotros es una, un, un agradecimiento enorme, enorme, el, el tener la vacuna eh, china. A sincere thank you from a small island in the Pacific Ocean, transmitted across the ocean and reverberated in Wuhan thousands of miles away. Celia from Guatemala is married to a Wuhan native. She has lived in the city for over a decade and speaks fluent Chinese. During the pandemic last year, she live-streamed China's fight against the pandemic to overseas netizens. When Wuhan started the COVID-19 vaccination for foreign nationals in the city, Selina made an appointment upon learning the news and live-streamed the entire process of receiving her first COVID-19 vaccine dose. From holding video conferences to share anti-pandemic experience to Chinese and Latin American medical experts fighting side by side and carrying out practical and highly efficient cooperation on vaccines against COVID-19, China and Latin American countries are working together to fight a defense war against the pandemic.